What up, people? It's your boy, Master Trudy, out here with another comic review. <clears throat> so, new comic book day means new Red Hood. This time, Red Hood Outlaw. You see, the X is turned off on the bat signal right there. So, you know, this is a very good um, holographic piece. I thought that the um, variant was a slightly better, but this works too. Um, this is very another emotional issue, another right out the park by the man himself, Scott Love Dell. You know, the art's starting to grow on me too. But we get a lot of things that many people felt that Bruce was in the wrong for two issues ago. We see that they come together. So, you know, let's get into it. So it starts off, and we see that um, Jason is calling Roy. And as we all know in the Crisis of Heroes in Crisis, Roy's dead. So we see that it starts off, you know, a bit emotional. And, you know, Roy's his buddy. Roy was his boy. You know, his pal. So we get into it. And we see that, you know, a little bit of a middle America. Just see this guy at a diner. He's looking for, looking to, you know, get a number. Chick is like, yo, my boyfriend will like that. You're going to have to settle for the coffee. And Jason's like, yo, make it two. And she's like, be right back. So this guy's like, okay. It's like, why are you sitting so close to me? You got the whole diner to stretch out. Jesse, just curious. I thought you could help me figure something out. And he's like, okay, what do you want? It's like, I know you're holding a million, dollar, million dollars in hijacked medical supplies out of Bing, Binghamton for the underlife. And Jason's been trying to track down the underlife's sake. But South? That's what I don't get. Texas, New Mexico, maybe south of the border. And this guy's like, I'm afraid you're going to be scratching your head for a while. Or you're going to be spitting the answer along with your teeth. It's like, huh? It's like, you got a smart mouth on you, boy. It's like, pretty too. So I've been told. So this guy's getting ready to see if he can shank Jason. But Jason's like, nah, man. Why don't you take this coffee in the face? And just smashes the thing on, smashes his glass on his face. Bam. So just see Outlaw Part 2. Pete Woods has, do, has done the art in the cover. And I'm, you know, I think the art grows on me. It's not, you know, the man himself, Dexter Soy. And everything like that. But anyway... We get it in Jason's like, you know, beating down all of this guy's friends like this, you know, beating down the opposition. And it's like, it really fe it feels like since forever, forever since I really let go. But it was only two days ago. For months, I toned it down. It's like, I, I agreed to play Batman's game. Bruce's city, Bruce's rules. No more. Now it's just me and a world of idiots jonesing for a beat down. So he just say, I intend to. So he gets hit. Bam. Like that. And then, um... Jason's like, you should have a license plate for those fists, pal. I like, I ain't your pal, but I'll give you some friendly advice. We ain't your backwater yokels out here. You just see, the underlife united us. We're part of something bigger now. Big as Gotham, Metropolis, just more spread out. But you, you're just a dead man. Bang! And we just see Bruce come in and save Jason. And this is like a great shot. And um, we just see Bruce. It's like, he raised me, trained me as Robin. It didn't end well. So Jason's like, if we're here to fight, I need a, I need a sec. He's like, I'm not here to fight. So he just tells him to sit. And he's like, and Jason's like, don't you think this is a little strange? You know, just see, if this is me, if this about, is the, <laughs> sorry, if this is about taking me back to Gotham, it's not going to happen. Shooting Penguin wasn't a crime. It was a public service. It's like, you're never coming back to Arkham. Not, it's like, you're never coming back to Gotham, not even to Arkham. Just see, oh, okay. And he's like, that's kind of, you know, wounded Jason. And we find out that Penguin didn't die. Say, Calvo didn't die yet, so technically you didn't break our deal. But it wasn't for your lack of trying. No, not for lack of trying. So he asks why Bruce is here. Bruce takes a sip of his coffee, and he tells him that Roy Harper is dead. He's like, I'm sorry. And we just see, like, Jason's, like, you know, really shocked, man. You can really see the, um, like, the pain in his face. And he's like, and he's like saying, I just said, just last week we talked. And he's like, how? And Jesse, it was a place called Sanctuary. Rehab for capes, he said. We don't know who or why, but a lot of people were killed there. Trust me when I say I won't rest until I find the person responsible. And then we just see Jason's like, that's a lot of people who will be out looking for revenge. No one needs me in the mix. It's like, I agree. So they just keep talking. And then we just see, Alfred says it's important to let your feelings out. And we just see... Seriously? From the guy, grief counseling from the guy who dresses up as a bat. And, you know, Jason says something very potent. He's like, death isn't the worst thing that can happen to a person, Bruce. I know, trust me. You died. Damien died. Death is a revolving door in our business. 
Am I going to miss him? Absolutely. But everyone who has ever put on a mask is living on borrowed time. He'd be pissed if I had spent the life I have left moping over him. So he's like, he's like okay, that's, that's pretty cool. So they go out, and they pay for the coffee, and they walk out. And then Bruce is like, um, can I drop you somewhere? He's like, no, I'm fine. I need some fresh air. But then Jason's like, yo, Bruce. And then we get this, man. A father hugging his son. Not only that, we get this, man. Get it right here. It's beautiful. So pretty much, you know, Jason... Pretty much was like, thank you for telling me yourself. I know it wasn't easy. Ooh, sorry for that pause. But yeah, you know, basically Bruce is like, look. Well, Jason's like, yo, thank you for telling me yourself. I know that wasn't easy for you, hating me and all. But then Bruce is like, Jason, I've never hated you. Not once, not for a moment. Do I think you can be an insulin bonehead a lot of times? A lot of times. Do I think you need the occasional kick in the ass? I don't deny it. But at the end of the day, I've got your six. And I know you've got mine. Look at that. So, Bruce is like, okay, they go their separate ways. Then we get back to the first page and he's like, he leaves Roy a message that said, I know, I heard about, you know, this is exactly why I'll never try to get my head together. I just want to tell you, you may have been a mediocre archer and a half-assed superhero, but you were the best friend I ever had. Next time I see you, I'm gonna kick your butt for dying, for this dying crap. So, it looks like he deletes Roy's number. But we get to um, Appleton, established in 1862, you know, little small town, everybody, small town love, everybody's giving each other good morning. He's like, working hard, hardly working. He's like, yeah, you know, it's just a typical, Typical small town. It's like, beautiful day. God's great. He certainly is. So Jason's just walking. He's feeling the love. And he meets the sheriff. He says, hey, good morning, fella. What brings you to our humble little borough? See, I'm just passing through, officer. I have some business around these parts. And the officer's like, pleased to have you. He's like, if you need a place to, <laughs> to bed down, you can try F Fred and Ethel's bread and board. He's like, I will. I think I will. Thank you. My pleasure. And you just see everybody's just still greeting each other. Everybody's just enjoying it, you know, feeling good. And, um, you know, he meets uh, the people in charge at the bed and board. He's like, if there's anything you need, son, just let us know. It's like, our home is your home. Enjoy your stay. You just see, here, let me give you a hand with your bag. And he's like, no, I'm fine. It's like, I'm just going to bit, going to get a bite to eat and at the diner and I'll be back. It's like, no problem at all. And then Jason's smiling, you know, feeling pretty good. He's like, you know, this ain't Gotham. I almost feel, almost feel bad I have to take it apart brick by brick. Ouch. And, of course, we see that somebody has been keeping a watch on him. And they see that they have a problem. And we just see, next time, Mall Town America. This was a fantastic issue. We see that it was good that, uh, I was wondering whether Bruce or Jason would ever make up or with how long it would take, and it was fairly quick, but it was well done. And, you know, um, Scott Love, Dale Red Hood and the Outlaws has been consistently, in my opinion, the MVP of DC Comics. It's been good. We got our story, we got, you know, a little bit of build-up, we got some action, we got some resolve, a little bit of a tie-in, and now a setup for the next major thing that Jason got to do. So, I give this a good 9 out of 10. So thank you all for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notifications. Make sure you're notified. Once again, I do these reviews for you, the people, because I want to good comics and get your views on them. Thank you all for watching, and I hope to have more reviews as soon as I can. Thanks.